And there are the picks for this Sunday. And as you can see, we are split down the middle. Ryan Clark, you like Kansas City Sunday at home. Why? I think when you look at this team, they're just finding ways to win. Go back to the Las Vegas Raiders game, and you're down 17 nothing. This team doesn't blank, and now you see Patrick Mahomes utilizing all of the different tools at his disposal, making sure that Travis Kelsey is huge in the red zone, but it's MVS, it's Juju Smith-Schuster, it's McCole Hartman, even Jet McKinnon, McKinnon out of the backfield, who is the third running back. I think offensively we found that this team could do whatever they want, and defensively they're finding ways to create pressure and playing better on the back end with linebackers that run side to side. And psychologically, I believe the Kansas City Chiefs know how important this game are. This game is. They know that the Buffalo Bills are still nipping at their heels, and they have that want and that angst to get that one win, not only for a future home field advantage or to think that they can one day host the AFC championship and Kansas City has to come to them, but for the mentality, for the mindset of understanding we are finally here. Patrick Mahomes isn't still just one play better, isn't just one, uh, one drive better, that we are the team now in the AFC that that is slated to represent us. And until they get that win, I don't know if they believe, but I know that Kansas City won't believe that they can lose until it happens. And I think that confidence wills them at the end in a very close game. Brooke, that's why, and you're on the Chiefs as well, that's why I find this game so fascinating, because there's the big picture and the little picture. The little picture, believe it or not, is where might the AFC Championship game be played, which is obviously a very important thing, but the bigger picture, the psychological piece of it, actually might be more important between these teams. Yeah, look, I'm going with the Chiefs, and maybe it's a heart pick over my head pick, but I can tell you what both my head and my heart know, and that's that every game that Patrick Mahomes is in, the Chiefs have a chance, and that's something that this organization has believed since they drafted him, since they started him beginning in 2018 he does things that are inexplicable I mean all you have to say is 13 seconds I mean sorry Buffalo I know you're we're, we're a little you know iffy on bringing that up again but it's true they have a chance in every game that he's in and I've talked to people in Kansas City and they said look we understand that the Bills are favorites they should be I mean there's less turnover on that team Josh Allen has had more consistency with all of his weapons but you still have Patrick Mahomes. And I think the juice and the edge that he's going to come out and play with, knowing that he's a home underdog for the first time in his career. Correct. I mean, look, we've seen the counting celebrations that he does whenever he feels like he's been slighted. I want to see if we can see him count to two and a half on his finger. <laughs> how, how do you do that? <laughs> 42 games that he has played as a starter in Kansas City at home. He's never been an underdog. Uh, it, it will go off that it, it Overwhelmingly likely to go off that way on Sunday. You like Buffalo. Why? Uh, as part of it's a psycho psychological piece the, the piece of I mean RC said it said a great point and Kansas City's used to winning these games but Buffalo understands how important this game is just like Kansas City but also Buffalo has a better defense at this point right even without Michael Parsons their defense is still playing well I guess you I understand you could say lesser opponent in Pittsburgh I get that uh, but I'm just saying man both the quarterbacks are relatively evenly matched Buffalo knows how important the game is I think it's going to be a close game, obviously, mm -hmm. but I just feel like it's a game where Buffalo says we got to find a way to win this one. But even though we win this one, we got to win again when it really matters. And, and Ninko, I wanted you to make the point for anyone who wasn't with us yesterday, and I just want to watch RC react as you say it. The significance of the AFC Championship game and how challenging it is to go to Buffalo if KC winds up having to go there for the AFC Championship game because of the facilities they provide for the visiting team. <laughs> RC, RC knows... <laughs> How terrible so the visiting trash. locker room is in Buffalo. <laughs> so it is trash. disgusting. There is one toilet. There's one toilet for the whole team. So there's a line of dudes before the game that are nervous, that are getting ready to go play football, and they have to go use it. And there's a line. It's disgusting. There's showers. There's showers that half of them don't work. The drains don't work. Oh so you're God. standing in four inches of other people's bath water. It's disgusting. They can paint it as much as they want. They can change out the carpet, but they can't change the bones of that stadium on the inside. <laughs> it's bad. The visiting locker room is bad. It's disgusting. It's one of the worst. You don't want to go there. It's it, it, Listen, they have a home field advantage, not only because the fans are awesome and they're, they're crazy, but the home – the home field locker room, the, the away locker room is disgusting. You need to have a, like a, like you just need to take a Clorox wipe and spray yourself down when you leave that locker room. It's gross. I, I, I will just say this. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes needs to win this game just to avoid that locker room in late January. That, that, if that's not all the motivation that you need, it certainly would be all the motivation I need. So we are split down the middle on one of the biggest games of the year. In the meantime... Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.